Good day everybody. Today we're going to be installing uh, my CPU cooler from my i9-139K. As you can see I've got the display running properly now. When it starts off you only have 8.8 8, unless you install the software for it. That was a bit of a problem. I had uh, some issue with the uh, manufacturer and how to get through it. I figured it out by myself. So uh, what you're going to need to get the software display monitor there is to uh, scan this QR code. So let's go over here. Let's see. When you start off, when you open up the uh, the product page for the, the product, the Saba 360 mil uh, CPU cooler for uh, AMD and uh, LJ1700, uh, you're going to go ahead and click that last image right here. That'll open up the QR code. What you need to get this to work properly on your system is you got to search on Google for a QR code for your either Edge or Chrome browser or whatever browser you got. Download a plugin for your uh, browser. Uh, once you have the plugin on this page here, you go to your uh, plugins and you click your plugin, you select your QR code reader. That gives you the link. You go ahead and open that link. You're gonna get this page right here, this file. Go ahead and download it. Uh, once you've got it download, go to your downloads in your Windows and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, select it, uh, right, uh, select, right click on it, and then select and go cut. Move the file to uh, your archive drive uh, if you have one, like not your main drive for Windows and all that. If you have a backup drive for installing stuff, you usually most people do today. Go ahead and create a folder in there, uh, call it Sama, uh, right click inside that folder and paste it in there. You might have to click more options to see those uh, options of cut and paste. Uh, then go ahead and extract it with WinRAR. Uh, you can't use WinZip or the built-in uh, zip program in Windows. It will not work. Uh, you'll, it'll just won't come out right. You have to win. Uh, I use WinRAR to extract it. It extracted properly. Once I uh, open it up that folder, go in there and uh, run the uh, monitoring software that's inside of there. Uh, then once you have that you'll see that it'll uh, You'll have to click your Windows icon and then it, it'll be called app dot uh, GUI not very intuitive name. I know that and then uh, go, go ahead right click on it and pin it right away to your taskbar Then you'll have just a little thing there that says GUI right here go ahead and you open that and then you'll get your app there when you start off where it says CPU uh, sensor there. There will be nothing there. So you'll have to use the drop down and select either the CPU or the CPU socket to monitor. Click on the display icon, uh, check mark right here. And then go ahead and click accept to accept the changes. And then you'll see that uh, your monitor now works. It's a USB 2.0 port. That's, I got it plugged in down there. Uh, the cable is long enough to reach all the way to the top and all the way back down to this board. This is an MSI Tomahawk motherboard, so it, it's a decent board. I like it. And uh, the i9-1399K is running ice cold on his CPU. For the price of this uh, CPU cooler, as you can see it's the Sama. And uh, I had to take off the three top fans in my case because this is a Kyder's case that I just got. I, uh, and uh, It came with nine fans, so basically I got three spare fans for it. I really love it. As you can see, it comes with, uh, the, the case came with a remote to control the lighting and the fans and all that. I haven't done my cable management yet. That's the Sama uh, RGB cables right now. Right now they're uh, set to the same color as uh, my fans. But uh, they also on this feature, there's a feature where you can monitor the temperature by using the RGB there. So that's what's being used right now is those cables there will actually change color as the CPU warms up. They go from uh, purple to a uh, yellow to a red if it's really hot. So, and these fans on top there are also there. Uh, the case did come with uh, 
a header for RGB at the back with the remote, but uh, unfortunately those fans there have a different uh, plug-in. That's that style right there that you can see at the top there just by the fan. Right there. And they weren't really compatible with the, the built-in board, so uh, I had to use the uh, RGB cable there from Sama. And uh, I plugged that to this one here, my uh, 8 pin for my uh, graphic card. They also sell a 12 pin for uh, Ford, uh, 4090s, like RTX cards and that. So, yeah. So, that was the only drawback to, to that. And uh, it was a bit confusing with the manufacturer how to get that there. So, like I said, I figured it out. So, now everybody should be able to get their monitor working. And uh, now you'll have the instructions on how to get there. But, yeah, I really like the case. And uh, I like the... The cooler for the price, you can't really can't beat it. For the performance is awesome. The hottest I've seen it go up to is 62 degrees Celsius, and that was on uh, playing the uh, Wu Long, the video game 2023 with all the graphics maxed out on it. So, kudos to that cooler for for the value for the price. It really is uh, something I recommend. The, the only thing is a lot of people had that issue and they couldn't figure out how to get it there well now you know how to do it and uh, definitely recommend it it's a really good thing uh, this is a Kaiser's case like I said it came with nine fans the motherboard came with stickers I only put those two there for now because I was going to RMA the motherboard too at one time I was going to RMA the CPU cooler because I couldn't get it to work but now everything's solved and uh I had an RGB problem with my motherboard, but I solved that. Everything's working fine now. And uh, yeah, I had to download the uh, software for the motherboard there. Uh, MSI uh, Access, I think. I think it's called something like that. Let's see here. It's uh, MSI Center is what I had to install. And then I got the RGB to work properly. So, yeah, and then I did flash the motherboard to the newest uh, version of the BIOS, so that helped too. And uh, this is XPG RAM, by the way. Uh, they weren't on a competitively list, but uh, fortunately for me, they did work. Uh, this is the DDR4 version. The reason why is I just had a, a new computer, like not even a year old, and... Uh, it was the Acer Predator, and uh, it really was limited to what I could do with it. So I had to spend a bunch of money just to be able to put a bigger graphic card in. So this 37 is going to get retired and back into the Acer case as soon as I can afford one. I already spent quite a bit of money just getting this build up and putting the i9 in there. So yeah, and uh, it's, a, it's a Sama 1000 watt power supply in it. Uh, it the first one I got was uh, dead on arrival so I had to RMA it they did send me one right away so I was happy with that now everything's working fine uh, like I said there's uh, two USB 2.0 headers at the bottom here in case you ever need to use them on top to charge you like a, an iPhone or something like that on 2.0 uh, you can connect your header there too for that if you have that which mine that's where it's connected right now uh, so everything's fine So there you go people that's uh, Quite a nice system. I definitely recommend the Sama cooler. Thank you